MFA versus AB Man. I, I want to see what MFA does to beat AB Man here. Because I feel like if, if you're not good at the Rob matchup, uh, he like kind of runs you over. And I think Almar is the type of character that can definitely get overwhelmed by Rob. He's just getting juggled already, as you can see. Yeah, if he doesn't get that whistle out, it seems very difficult for Almar to deal with Rob's uh, aerials. When he's, when he's in the air, at least. Oh, missed the tag, and you're dead. Damn. That double jab was one of the best things that Alomar got. So easy to set up tech chases. I think you can get double jab grab too with Alomar. Nope, no snipe. He's off stage. He's gonna go to the other side. Nice. Smart recovery. Oh my god, he rolled into that, but he just barely missed the forward smash. Oh yeah, MFA is actually going super aggressive right now. It's kind of interesting, like, because both these characters are, like, kind of zoners, I guess. But the way that they these two players both play is pretty aggressive. Oh my god. I like the delayed mash out of the down throw. Ava Man didn't get the follow-up he wanted. Oh, there's the purple back air. AB Man got caught overextending. Oh, easy. 53, 78%. And MFA with the taunt. I'm pretty sure that was the taunt. He's going for the three stock on AB Man right now. But there's the up air. Let's see. Let's see the comeback. If AB Man can pull it off. MFA is in a huge lead. He can kill with the up throw. He can kill with the purples. Anything he wants right now. He's out of here? No, barely living. Barely living, yeah. Good I told these huge blasts on. Oh, another one. Get him out of here. That's a JV from MFA. Only two minutes. Two minute match. <laughs> I'm a jet commander on this one. Zoners with good boxing tools really hurts my soul. Yeah. Oh, did we not do the predictions for this one? I don't have the chat. Well, we can't do it now since there's already a match happened. Yeah, that's true. We cannot. We're a little too late on this one. Alright, blame Helvet. Everyone, everyone riot, blame Helvet for not setting up the predictions. I was going to say, this is Helvet's fault. I let this man do one job. I mean, I guess you can still do the predictions, even though just, a match happened already. That's true. All right, all right. Game two, game two. Avid man, dude, he, uh, he had a really rough time in that game. He just didn't get to play that much. I think he died on his first stock in like 40 seconds almost. And it was just downhill from there. Honestly, I thought this would be really rough for Alomar. Oh my Oof. goodness. Yeah, I thought it would be really rough for Alomar if he gets getting juggled and edge guarded, but MFA is not letting that be a factor that much in this set so far. Okay. Fourth throw? No, down throw here. Great mash from MFA. And I like the whistle too, just in case Ape Man uh, went for an up air. Nope, no purple snipe. Yeah, good for him to try to stall the landing too, because he knows MFA, the first thing he's going to start doing is definitely sending out the Pikmin out there to hunt him down. Especially how we saw the red Pikmin out there at the ledge. This is going to be a forward throw, yeah. A lot of stage control. Once again, Ape Man forced to make a recovery here. Able to survive. No down air though. Oh, fourth throw? No, he doesn't want to go for it. Oh, early on the execution. Oh, nice. Even with the miss one, man, Ape Man takes the stock. Oh, wow, living that one. I'm surprised he didn't up smash him out of shield. He has the purple.
Yeah, something I noticed about uh, MFA is a lot of times, man, he'll just like throw out a downer and disadvantage. Tends to work out pretty well for him. Oh, no up smash tech chase, unfortunately for ABMM. MFA in a good spot though. He has a really good lineup. No ledge trump. Try to go for that ledge trump. Not going to fall for it. The purple gets sniped out. Ooh, goes high. Nice juke there from MFA. And the oh. force smash is just enough to kill. Yeah. Wow. Ipeman not going to be nope. too happy about that one. Yeah, and he doesn't get the roll he's looking for. That white Pikmin did 30%. Dude, Almar's damage output is insane. In case you guys forgot. Oh, another re-grab. Up throw? Nope. Going for these down throw uh, kills here. That one will do it, though. Not too far behind, but Aven Mag is in a position where he has to approach. And if he messes up, he runs the risk of trading with MFA. Things could be really bad for him in that scenario, but... Starting to make the comeback happen. Has this purple to worry about though. That shield's getting pretty low. Misses the tech into the force smash. Not, Not enough. enough. Very close though. Goes high. Nice. Oh, and there's the down air. Not gonna and get the up smash out in time. Yeah. Oh my god. Was looking to cover that too, but he barely missed it. MFA has a lot of tools to kill right now. Very dangerous lineup. But the gyros helping Ape, Ma Ape Man out a little bit. Oh. Ooh. Calls out the aerial. What a good play. Wow. MFA crossing up Aven Man. Unfortunately for him, he didn't realize how huge that up smash is. And uh, Aven Man's gonna take that. That was nice. Nice, nice game. Yeah, you guys saw that, that red pigment force smash, right? That was crazy. I don't know if he did that on purpose, but... I know uh, Myron's really good at setting that up. I'm not even sure how that works exactly. That's just, like, so weird to me. Uh, it was towards the end of the game, like, he, he had, like, the purple Pikmin on the ground and then the red Pikmin on the platform, and, like, he force smashed, like, at, he force smashed so they both can attack at the same time. I guess you can desync the Pikmin, like, the Ice Climbers, but I don't know how. Alright, game three. I think this is going to be a game five set. I don't know. Both these guys are playing so well. And even just the, the nature of this matchup, it just seems uh, both these characters can just mess each other up super bad. Yeah, well, with, honestly, they're both zoners, but the thing about like Ape and Man is, once again, he kind of has to pick and choose how much he can go for his projectiles and in a lot of cases right you kind of have to value like okay is the range that i'm at good enough to play against olimar here he's got 115 on his name man but mfa definitely with a strong lead it's definitely something that 
Ip and Man can't bring back, but like I said, he has to play this very good because he doesn't get Oh, the, the gyro. The gyro actually messed that up for him. I know. Unfortunately for Ape Man. He's lucky that he uh, only got white up smash, but speaking of up smash, Ape Man sneaks in at one of his own, taking the first stock over MFA. No, nope. Battlefield, let's Rob live that a little bit longer. And uh, Ape Man is also DIing the up throw really well, too. I wonder, is Myron and Ape Man from the same part of uh, Florida? I'm I not don't sure. Know. Yeah, I don't know. I imagine he has run ins with Myron before, though. Oh, big down tilt setup. Ape Man locking down this Olimar on one side of the stage. That air dodge off stage, though, actually kind of messed up his uh, ledge trap he had going for himself. Nice. Gets the tech roll in. Classic gyro ledge trap. Man, that setup is just so good. Yeah. Yeah, Ape Man definitely turning it up this game. Nair into the gyro, into the laser. Almost 50% off of one string, but misses the tech here. And dang, that's just, just barely enough to kill. Wow. MFA is always ready for that jab block. Oh. Oh, nope. Missing his uh, combo here, but. Still a lot of percent racked up just from the Pikmin being latched up to the Rob. Oh my goodness. Pikmin are dying at the speed of light right now. Okay. Nope. No up smash. But oh, it's another one. Shield, yeah. Gotta be careful with that forward air. Oh. Wow. Ava Man took so much percent from the white Pikmin just trying to uh, keep him tra trapped on one side of the stage. Okay, watch out for the purple. Palmar has a lot of tools to take this game right now. Oh, shield pressure gets the roll behind into the down tilt. Baby man in a lot of trouble at the ledge too. Oh, he goes for a really risky edge guard and gets his purple destroyed. All right. Oh my God, so scary. Oh no. But forward throw, wow. I didn't expect that. I don't think Ape Man did either. He got the blue and he did four throw instead of up throw. Actually, that was actually smart because up throw might not kill on Battlefield at that percent. I was going to say it might not kill on Battlefield, but also like probably Ape Man might have been DIing for the up throw. In that scenario, that definitely would have... Yeah, I think it was a DI mix up. I'm, I'm with the real SK. Definitely more of a DI mix up. Damn. Yeah, because mostly, even if even if in that situation starts, I think he would have definitely been DIing for the up throw. Just because of that scenario. I didn't even know that four throw kills in this game. It doesn't, but definitely the way how he died, DI mix up. All right, wow, good stuff. Good stuff, a MFA, man. That was a great comeback. I was surprised he was able to get away with all his rolls, though, at the end. Maybe Abraham was just scared of dying, so he wasn't trying to drop shield and punish. Yeah. All right. Also, look at MFA. the situation. I think he was probably hoping that Gyro was going to hit. Was going to hit Olimar with how close he was to it, but we'll see, man. Possibly last stock between these two. Yeah. Sorry, last game. Last yeah. game between these two. Yeah, Ape Man in danger of uh, being eliminated before he can get to grand finals of another MSM. I did say earlier though that if anyone was going to win this tournament. I could definitely see uh, a MFA winning this tournament from loser's bracket. So I wouldn't be super shocked to see him able to take this game. But right now, Ape Man, trying to make sure that does not happen. The side B just completely catching Olimar's uh, helpless recovery, pretty much. All you can do is just, like, swing an aerial and drift from, like, up and down or left to right when he's using his up like that. Nice, Gyro picks it right back up too, added for added Ooh. pressure. It's gonna nice be a Gyro. Gyro. Yeah. Wow. 
and so he falls much into, options covered. Yeah, because if he would have gotten up from the ledge, he would have gotten hit by Jaro. If he would have jumped, he would have gotten hit by the starting hit of Robo oh. Arms. And then if he stayed like oh. he did, he got hit by the back hit. Oh, MFA going for something nasty, Ooh. and it ends up paying the price. That down air is super effective there. Just because uh, he didn't regain his Legend of ability. Just because he was at such a high percent, and he was uh, off stage for a yeah. short amount of time, too. Now, he saw MFA bring back a game very similar to this in the previous one, so I'm not going to count him out just yet. And if I'm AB man, I'm not going to let up on the gas whatsoever. Just keep applying as much pressure as possible, hold on to momentum as best he can. Otherwise, you know, MFA is definitely going to be able to bring this back. Uh, nope, no shield poke, but no dangerous uh, up smash there. He didn't have the purple in the rotation yet. And they're able to power now it's all gone. the Pikmin, yeah. Yeah. That was good that he went for a downer because he wanted to cover the tech roll inward. Just because, you know, MFA was not going to tech roll out. Oh, oh. almost. Oh, the idea was yeah. there, but not able to connect. That seems actually pretty... That seems difficult to get on uh, smaller characters, it seems. The down tilt into the gyro. Another one, dude. MFA's always hitting that downer and disadvantage. Oh, not the best DI. Oh, nope, too slow there. Okay. Just gonna wait. Oh, wow! <laughs> wow, what a play for me, man. <laughs> he just waited. Damn. That was that was nuts, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the patience paid off in the end. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a Rob do it like that before. <laughs> <laughs> that makes two of us. But hey, man, they put themselves up at Game 5. Ape and Man definitely fighting to be a part of your uh, Twitter poll. Will he make it to top three, man? He's definitely looking to fight and make sure he will. Wait, so if he wins this, he's guaranteed top three? Yeah, it's Loser's Finals. Actually, wait. He's already in... This is Loser's yeah, Simmies. Yeah, he has so to, he's guaranteed, he has yeah, he's to, guaranteed uh, top three no matter what. Dang. This is consistency, dude. Even when he's losing from, like, round one winners or something crazy like today. Man, this is one of those tense game five moments where no one knows what stage to go to. <laughs> you have to really. Think oh wait. About... You have it to was really not never mind. Ape Man, Man was just getting water. I'm watching his stream. Oh my God, Struts. <laughs> I was gonna say like you have to really think about your next stage because it could just be your last. Yeah. This decides it all. Well, for for this set. Okay, here we go. Game five. Ape Man versus MFA. Winner of this will fight Syrup in the losers' finals, and uh, potentially have a chance of like, facing Jez in the grand finals. But let, let's see. This has been going back and forth, and these guys have just been showing such a mastery of their characters in the set so far. 
both been playing the matchup super well. And uh, yeah, Ava Man, he's been missing a lot of these techs, and that was one of the few times he got away with uh, missing a tech from MFA. Normally, he's just been on it with the jab blocks. Ooh. Actually, I actually like this battlefield pick. I know it's like MFA's counter pick, but uh, Ava Man's been living really long on this stage with Rob. Yeah. In this matchup. Having wider side blast zones can definitely help you out. And also good enough for the man to have extra platforms when he goes for down throw. So up throw, up throw. Oh, he called him out. Yeah. Oh, this is a big punish? No, he doesn't go for the double up smash out of shield. I saw the, the, the two purples in the rotation and I thought AB Man was going to go for a ride there. But all my low percent combos are ridiculous. Oh, it's a start. No, go for the back throw instead. I thought he was go for like a down throw fair, but doesn't matter. Ape Man is taking a lot of percent right now. MFA looking really good. Still has the purple on deck too. Oh no, the purple wasn't next to Olimar in time, so you couldn't neutral get the, uh, the hitbox. Not even the second neutral or the gyro oh. was enough to take care of Olimar here. Ape Man is looking for a lucky break at this point here. MFA with such a lead. Yeah, this is looking really good for him. Yeah, but there's an air. No tech chase oh. here. I think Ape Man really wanted the tech chase after the forward air. Not enough. Yeah. Gotta be so careful. Yeah. Wow, it's that gyro tosses. destroying your... Yeah, see, it's so worth tossing, too, because you get rid of the Pikmin. In the worst case scenario, you stop Olimar also from approaching you as well. So it's still super worth to toss him no matter what. Oh, you're going for that anti-air up smash. Ape Man's playing a little bit more patiently than MFA is expecting. <sighs> no uppercut from after Nair. Oh. oh, into the oh. gyro? Mm. Oh, yeah, look, it's it's harder to get on Olimar. He's, like, so yeah. tiny. He's so small, too. Oh, but there's the upper. Okay, Ape Man clawing his way back in this set. Yeah, here, 150 to 100 here. Ape Man definitely has climbed back in here. And I like it that he's always uh -oh. going to get rid of the Pikmin, too. Neutral air, not that enough. That gyro. He's got rage. Oh, nice down air from MFA. Oh. And he sneaks in the forward smash just in time. MFA holding on to the stock lead. Ape Man looking for a roll, but MFA's not giving it to him. He doesn't want this Olimar to use a snowball because it is potentially his last stock of this tournament. Nice. And if it's so hard to hit right now. Nope. No double jab into the grab. Maybe make us that spot dodge cancel down smash. Only taking 28%. And now we're going into the last stock of the game five. Let's see who wants this win more. Maybe man, really good string to start things off. All right. Gotta be careful of the purple Pikmin if he can even get back to the stage. So much pressure being put on right now. Oh. They oh. Forward smash, not enough. The gyro is just proving so difficult for MFA to deal with right now. Okay, gets in his face. Nope, no grab. I thought the double jab grab was coming. Wow, the gyro didn't care about the Pikmin whatsoever. Ooh. Oh, no, no spike, but yeah. he's in a terrible spot. Oh my god, he barely got past the down smash. And now he has an opportunity to bring it back. Yeah, he's looking for the stall. Oh. He has to be careful with that Nair. Look out. MFA has been calling that out every single time. Oh. What is he doing? What is he doing? Okay. He has no purple here anymore. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The pigmen are just dying so fast. MFA can't really abuse it. Yeah, but good. Good this for is so scary. The Z drop with Gyro there to cover oh. the situation. Laser is not enough oh. here. The laser destroyed the white Pikmin. He has a purple and a blue though. Really good lineup yeah. if he can get it to work. Oh, <gasps> oh, the up smash! Aven Man got caught swinging, extending his hurt box, and that purple up smash coming in clutch for Olimar. You, you always gotta be ready for it. Always gotta be ready for it. And MFA is gonna send Aven Man packing.